you know, gravity, it keeps your feet on the ground, you know, magnetism, it, it sticks your fridge magnets. But have you ever heard of van der Waals forces? Probably not. And yet they're working right now in your body, on your desk, even on that lizard crawling up the wall without falling. Here's the thing. The universe isn't just glued by big dramatic forces like gravity or electromagnetism, no. Sometimes the world runs on tiny whispers of attraction, invisible hugs between atoms. Think of it like this. Gravity is like a wrestling match. Big, heavy, dramatic. Van der Waals? That's like a shy kid passing a secret note in class. Small, quiet, but powerful in the right moment. Without these quiet little forces, your DNA would fall apart, your cells wouldn't stick, and geckos would need parachutes. So today we're diving into the secret world of van der Waals forces, the invisible glue of the universe. Get ready for science that's so small it makes ants look like dinosaurs. Before we get into van der Waals forces, let's rewind a little. For centuries, people thought the universe was held together only by the big forces. Gravity was the superstar Newton's apple. Planets orbiting the sun, tides in the ocean. Then came electricity and magnetism, lightning in the sky. Magnets on fridges and compasses pointing north. These were strong, obvious, easy to spot. But here's the twist. Atoms, the tiny building blocks of everything, don't live by just the big flashy rules. They have their own secret rules of attraction, softer and stranger. Think of it like a school playground. Gravity is the strict teacher shouting across the field. Every kid listens. Electricity and magnetism are like the class bullies, loud, obvious, pulling kids toward them or pushing them away. But van der Waals forces, they're the quiet friendships and little crushes happening behind the scenes. Not loud, not flashy, but shaping how the whole playground feels. In the world of molecules, these small attractions matter more than you'd expect. Proteins fold into the right shape because of them. Liquids like water cling together with their help. Even gas molecules bumping around in the air are nudged by them. Without van der Waals forces, the microscopic world would be chaos. Atoms would drift apart, molecules wouldn't hold, and chemistry itself would look very different. So, while history books celebrate gravity and electromagnetism, the truth is life depends just as much on these small, shy forces. Let's finally meet the star of the show, Van der Waals Forces. At first, the name sounds like a rich Dutch villain in a Marvel movie, Dr. Van der Waals, Destroyer of Worlds. In reality, it's named after Johannes Diederik van der Waals, a 19th century Dutch scientist. He was the one who noticed that molecules don't behave like little billiard balls bouncing off each other. They have soft edges, invisible tugs and subtle attractions. So... What are these forces? At their core, van der Waals forces are weak attractions between atoms and molecules. Not big dramatic ones like magnets, but tiny forces that add up when you have millions of molecules packed together. They're like background characters in a movie quiet, unnoticed, but without them the story falls apart. Atoms are weird little things. Each atom has a positively charged nucleus surrounded by negatively charged electrons, but those electrons aren't sitting still. They're buzzing around like kids running wild in a candy store. Sometimes, by pure chance, the electrons on one side of the atom are more crowded than the other. This creates a tiny uneven charge, like the atom is leaning a little to one side. Now imagine this uneven atom comes close to another atom. The tiny imbalance nudges the neighbor, making it lean too. Suddenly, the two atoms feel a tiny attraction. That's one form of van der Waals force called London dispersion forces. It's the weakest kind, but it's everywhere. Even noble gases like helium and neon, which usually don't mix with anyone, can stick together for a brief moment thanks to this. It's like the quietest romance in high school blink and you'll miss it. But there are stronger versions too. Imagine one molecule has a permanent uneven charge like water. Water has one side slightly negative, the oxygen, and one side slightly positive, the hydrogens. It's like a magnet with a north and south pole. When such a molecule comes close to another molecule, it can tug on it. This is another van der Waals force dipole-dipole interaction. And there's a fun upgrade to this. The hydrogen bond. When hydrogen is involved, the attraction gets extra sticky. This is why water has such unusual powers. It boils at a much higher temperature than other small molecules. It clumps into drops. It makes ice float. All because of these invisible little hugs between water molecules. Without them, life on Earth would be impossible. Now, let's look at some real-life magic. 
Scene 1. The Gecko's Superpower. Geckos can walk up walls, across ceilings, even on glass. No glue, no suction cups. How? Their feet are covered in millions of tiny hairs, each splitting into even tinier tips. When these touch a surface, Van der Waal's forces kick in. Every little hair makes a tiny attraction, and when you add up millions of them, it's strong enough to hold up the gecko's entire body. Imagine shaking hands with a million tiny sticky fingers that's gecko science. Scene 2. Your DNA's secret stitches DNA. The blueprint of life is basically two long strings twisted around each other. But what keeps those strings stuck together? Sure, hydrogen bonds connect the base pairs, but van der Waals forces between the stacked bases add stability. It's like building a Jenga tower. Each block leans on the one above and below, and the small pressures keep it from collapsing. Without van der Waals, your genetic code would unravel like spaghetti. Scene 3. Everyday Chemistry Think about cooking oil. Why is it liquid at room temperature instead of floating away like a gas? Van der Waals forces hold the long hydrocarbon chains together just enough to keep them in liquid form. Or consider plastic wrap. It clings to bowls and leftovers, not just by static electricity, but also by Van der Waals' attraction with the surface. Your leftovers are safe thanks to invisible physics. Scientists have not just studied these forces, they've started to harness them. In nanotechnology, researchers design new materials that stick together using van der Waals forces. Graphene, the wonder material stronger than steel but thinner than a hair, stacks layer by layer with these forces. In medicine, drug molecules often dock onto proteins through van der Waals interactions, fitting like puzzle pieces. Even in space science, dust grains in the early solar system clumped together, partly due to van der Waals forces helping form planets. So yes, the Earth you stand on may have started because of the tiniest atomic hugs. But let's be honest, van der Waals forces are weak, very weak. If gravity is like the rock lifting weights, van der Waals is like a toddler trying to push over a chair on their own, they don't matter much. But together, in massive numbers, they become powerful. Think of ants. One ant can't move your lunch. A thousand ants, say goodbye to your sandwich. That's the true secret of van der Waals. Strength in numbers. Billions of weak forces combining into something solid and reliable. For a long time, scientists ignored these forces. They were considered too small, too trivial. But then experiments kept showing strange results. Gases behaved differently under pressure. Liquids had odd boiling points. Proteins folded in ways no one expected. Only when van der Waals forces were added to the equations did everything finally make sense. It's a bit like realizing the quietest kid in class was secretly doing everyone's homework the whole time. So, what changed once van der Waals forces were discovered and understood? A lot more than you'd think. In science, they became the missing puzzle piece. Suddenly, the strange behavior of gases, liquids, and even biological molecules started to make sense. Without them, the equations of chemistry were broken. With them, everything clicked into place. In technology, van der Waals forces gave us new superpowers. Engineers built sticky robots inspired by geckos. Chemists designed better drugs that fit perfectly into proteins. Material scientists stacked sheets of graphene held together not by bolts or glue, but by invisible atomic attractions. And in biology, these forces explained the secret stability of life itself. DNA coils and proteins fold correctly because of these tiny attractions. Life doesn't just survive on Earth thanks to water and sunlight. It also depends on these quiet, unseen forces that hold molecules together. In short, van der Waals forces turned out to be the unsung heroes of both science and life. The smallest forces ended up having the biggest impact. So here's the big irony. The universe isn't only held together by big flashy forces like gravity or magnetism. It's also stitched by whispers, the soft, invisible pull of van der Waals forces. The gecko's wall climbing trick, the folding of your DNA, even the way water clings together. All of it works because of this quiet glue of the universe. It's a reminder that sometimes the smallest things have the biggest power. You don't need to roar like gravity, you can whisper like van der Waals and still hold the world together. If you enjoyed uncovering this hidden side of reality, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. More invisible secrets of the universe are waiting here on Infinitia Verity.